is my life It's not what it was before All these feelings I've shared And these are my dreams That I've never lived before Somebody a phone call on Monday morning at 7 a.m. from a janitor at DB High saying that there was a dead student on the bathroom floor. We arrived at the crime scene at 7.52 a.m. and immediately we marked off the crime scene and designated an entrance and exit way and assigned roles. The body was lying in the middle of the floor and there was blood spatter covering the walls. Everybody was logged in by 8.15 a.m. We then took hundreds of digital photos and photos with the 35 millimeter camera and we videotaped the crime scene. We did a grid search on the bathroom floor and we put evidence tents where we found evidence. Aside from the blood spattered walls and the dead body on the floor, we found a piece of chewed gum in the sink. We also found fibers on the ground from an unknown source. On the DB, we found a driver's license identifying her as Liz Royale. We bagged, logged, and stored all the evidence. We then proceeded to question friends, families, and faculty members of Liz while the evidence and uh, the dead body were being analyzed. It came to our attention that the fibers on the ground were unanimous with those of a football player's letterman jacket. Also, we discovered that Carter Smith, a star football player, had been dating Liz and that they had gotten into a fight the night before the murder. We had our suspect. Carter said he had given Liz his jacket the night before and he no longer had it. When the DB was analyzed, a chunk of black hair was found in her hand, not only showing a struggle, but also that the struggle wasn't with Carter. Also, the wounds on, wounds on her body seemed to come from a sharp hacking from a wedge-shaped object. Back at the crime scene, it was noticed that a fire axe had gone missing, so this gave us a likely blood spatter, it became clear that the death was from a medium velocity weapon and that the person using it was female and a left-handed person because of the pattern on the floor. Also, there was a swipe on the floor underneath the DB, which could have been from taking the letterman jacket off the victim. The way the blood was wiped up showed that the murder was an amateur. Three days later, at 8 o'clock a.m., CSU was contacted by a local garbage man who said he found a bloody letterman jacket in a trash can outside of 101 Northsaw Road. We looked up the address, and this was the home of another DB student. We went to the house and questioned the girl, who seemed extremely suspicious, so we brought her into the station. We were able to obtain a blood sample from the new suspect, and the DNA matched that from the cheek cells extracted from gum at the crime scene. The hair when analyzed and compared to Sally's was also a match. In court, Sally confessed to killing Liz because her anger got the best of her. She had been a secret admirer of Carter and was extremely angry at Liz when she had cheated on him with Ryan, another football player. Sally didn't think that Liz appreciated Carter enough. She was charged with second degree murder and sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole.